researchers have uncovered another potential reason to avoid ultra-processed foods. Seed oils, which are plant-based cooking oils frequently used in processed and packaged foods, have been linked to an increased risk of colon cancer. This finding comes from a new study published in the medical journal Gut. The research team from the University of South Florida Health and Tampa General Hospital Cancer Institute analyzed 162 tumor samples from colon cancer patients. They discovered that these tumors contained an excess of molecules that cause inflammation and a shortage of healing molecules. Dr. Timothy Yeepman, a professor of surgery at the University of South Florida Health Morsani College of Medicine and Associate Center Director for Translational Research and Innovation at the Tampa General Hospital Cancer Institute, explained that patients with unhealthy diets often experience increased inflammation in their bodies. He noted that this inflammation is now evident in colon tumors themselves, likening cancer to a chronic wound that won't heal. Consuming ultra-processed foods daily can hinder the body's ability to heal due to inflammation and immune system suppression, ultimately allowing cancer to grow. The study's findings emphasize the potential harms of the Western diet. In addition to inflammatory seed oils, Dr. Yeatman pointed out other culprits such as added sugars, saturated fats, ultra-processed foods and chemicals. A human's immune system can be extremely powerful and significantly impact the tumor microenvironment, which is beneficial if harnessed correctly for health and wellness. However, it is detrimental if suppressed by inflammatory lipids from processed foods. Previous studies by the same research team indicated that an imbalanced diet also increases the risk of heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and diabetes. Based on these findings, the researchers recommend treating cancer with resolution medicine, which aims to reverse inflammation using healthy, unprocessed foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids and derivatives of fish oil. Regular exercise and balanced sleep are also crucial components of this approach. Dr. Yeatman stated that this approach has the potential to revolutionize cancer treatment by moving beyond drugs to harness natural healing processes. It represents a vital step toward addressing chronic inflammation and preventing diseases before they start. The new study was funded by the National Institutes of Health, and clinical trials are currently underway at Tampa General Hospital Cancer Institute to explore the potential benefits of resolution medicine in treating and preventing disease. Sherry Coleman Collins, a food allergy dietitian from the Atlanta metropolitan area, expressed skepticism about the claim that seed oils cause cancer. She highlighted the overwhelming body of scientific literature, demonstrating the positive health benefits of replacing saturated fats, like lard and butter, with unsaturated fats such as safflower oil. This includes a significant reduction in cardiovascular disease, which is the leading cause of death in America. However, Collins acknowledged that it is important to continue monitoring why colon cancer rates are rising and how diet impacts this trend. She noted that ultra-processed foods are not only problematic due to seed oils, but also because they tend to be high in sodium, fat, and sugar while lacking fiber and nutrients. To reduce the risk of colon cancer, dementia, and other diseases, Collins recommends avoiding smoking, limiting alcohol consumption, maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, and consuming a fiber-rich diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Regarding cooking oils, Collins suggests using olive oil due to its significant body of evidence supporting its use as part of a Mediterranean diet. Extra virgin olive oil is versatile for low to medium heat cooking and has a favorable fatty acid profile. For higher heat cooking, she recommends avocado and peanut oils for their high smoke point and neutral flavor. Collins agreed with the researcher's recommendation to increase omega-6 fatty acid intake, noting that the American diet is deficient in this area. Fatty fish like salmon is the best source, although some nuts and seeds like walnuts and chia also contain these fats, but are not as bioavailable as those from fish. 
Jason Fong, a Canadian nephrologist, kidney specialist, commented that the study is preliminary and far from definitive. He explained that the hypothesis suggests consuming too many seed oils results in an excess of omega-6 fats, which are pro-inflammatory and can contribute to cancer. While he finds this hypothesis interesting and plausible, he emphasized that it is not yet definitive. Despite this, Fung mentioned that he does not use seed oils at home. Instead, he opts for olive oil and butter for cooking to avoid taking unnecessary risks.